Hi guys, my name is Aishusha and I am the current artist in residence at Center 3. I am a graduate from the OCAD University program Material Art and Design and I study both jewelry and textiles when I was there and now I work in a screen printing company and I'm a freelance artist. From a young age I mostly started with drawing then from drawing, I went into painting, and I wanted to then go into fashion design, which is why I chose material art and design at OCAT. With everything that I try to do, I include a heavy African influence in it, whether it's through spirituality or through the music. Even in traditional African art, that idea of costume is very prevalent. Um, in traditional rituals, people will wear like uh, ritualistic costumes. They will wear masks and um, all those things are things that are believed to channel energy. So this, the uh, assignment was to create a self-portrait of some sort. And the concept behind it was like me being the firstborn daughter in an African household and how the firstborn daughter is stress. We need our accolades. I thought of like the concept of all eyes being on us, whether it's from our siblings or from our parents, and how to our siblings we're meant to be the example, and then to our parents it's like, follow the example. So it's like all these eyes on me. This then was done in my second uh, screen printing class, and it was more of a surface design kind of class. So I dyed the fabric myself. And then when that was done, I created this design. And for this, we had to do like a tracking exercise. So we were tracking, uh, I decided to track the emotions I was going through in that week. This one is one of my more recent works. And it's a grieving mask in the making. Like I said, I love to add subjects of African spirituality because I find that's spirituality and uh, religion, I'm a Muslim. I find that those two things have really helped me in these times. When the pandemic happened, uh, a lot of us were bored at home and all my friends kept saying, Aisha, post TikToks, go on TikTok. And I'm like, okay, guys, fine. <laughs> so then I started uh, posting videos of my work and of relatable things that artists go through, um, which I loved. I mostly then did it because a lot of my friends live outside of Canada, they live throughout the world. And even me, I've moved countries four or five times in my life. So to also try and stay connected with my friends, I decided to post these videos so they can see where my life is going, like has she changed, is she the same person? A lot of them tell me I haven't changed, so I take pride in that. I think I've evolved. I think to me an emerging artist is somebody who's trying to find their voice as an artist, like what they want to talk about, what they would want their art to do for the world or just for themselves. For me, being emerging has been like looking for opportunities and putting my work out there. Um, I find that like, especially with the online presence, it's given me a lot of art opportunities. I got to do a mural uh, for the Salvation Army and I found that application uh, through Instagram actually. And even uh, in Toronto and Kensington Market, uh, my friend and I got invited to do a mural there through Instagram. So I think emerging is just us taking the opportunities that find themselves to us or us trying to reach for more opportunities so we can establish ourselves and make our mark wherever it is that we are.